All rogues are one of a kind. There will be no duplicates. Hey guys, what's up? LD Shadow Lady here and welcome back to X-Life, where today I'm going to be opening my very own shop in the spawn area. So first we need to go to spawn to scope out the competition and pick out the perfect location. So as you can see, almost everyone already has built a shop over here at spawn. Shovel has her buttercup bakery. Scott has his wool shop where he also sells teeth for some reason. Joel has a creepy leather shop and his bob and bits shop. Catherine built a crystal shop and then Joey opened a rival crystal shop. Jimmy built an apple store, and Fwip has this entire shopping district. You know, looking at all these shops has made me really want to do some shopping. So I'm going to go home and get my diamonds because I just want to make sure that I am thoroughly inspecting the competition. So first of all, let's settle the great crystal debate. Who has the better crystals, Catherine or Joey? We shall find out. <gasps> Whoa, these are really cute. And they're 20 crystals for one diamond? Um, yes please. Can I put them down? Oh, <gasps> cool. Oh no. Oops, I'll save them for later. Now let's check out Joey's crystals. The shop is definitely very cute. Five diamonds for 32 crystals? These are way too expensive. Oh, you will not be getting my business today. Over here we've got Fwip's home decor. All prices are one diamond per painting. These are so cute. Wow, a notice board. I want a notice board in my house. Let's get one. Let's also check out the Bob and Bits shop. See what Joel is selling. Oh my gosh, warp scrolls, backpacks, waystones. Ooh, let's get three waystones for two diamonds. He's also selling gravel for some reason. Sand, carrots. Dark Prismarine. What an unusual collection of items. Hmm. Finally, let's check out the Apple Star. What wonders does this shop behold? What the heck? AirPods. This is gonna be the dumbest purchase that I have ever made in Minecraft. Let's try these on. Oh my gosh. Why do these exist? Well, I got a little bit distracted from my mission of building a shop and instead I've done a bunch of shopping, but I have scouted out a perfect location for my shop. There's a nice little space up here between Catherine's crystal shop and the courthouse. So I'm gonna build my shop here. So I gathered all of my colorful building materials and started building a little shop. I was inspired by the Able Sisters shop from Animal Crossing, but I changed the colors a little bit to pink and cyan. So now all we have to do is add the finishing touches. I made these flower boxes for the windows. I've also got this white door and some lights for in here. Ta-da! And now this place is ready. So we first need a name for this establishment and I have decided to call it the Frog Prince Boutique. And we will have a frog mascot because every good shop has a mascot. So let's put the sign up out here, first of all, so that our customers can see our glorious frog prince. And now we just need to capture a frog to turn into a prince. And there is a certain frog over this way that I've been eyeing up for the position of frog prince. Here he is, this horrifying creature. I mean, beautiful prince. I shall just capture him and we will place him here in the boutique. And he loves it so much, he's never going to try and escape, right? And now it's time to add in the goods that I will be selling. And I have decided to sell two things, fairy roses and rugs. So let's start by collecting the fairy roses. We're gonna need to go back home and do some flower experimenting. So last episode, I fought a wither and I obtained a wither rose, which means I can now use its pollen to create these fairy roses. So all I need to do is start transferring the pollen and I will get a fairy rose seed. So let's get all the different color combos and... Oh, oh my gosh, that's dangerous. Do not go near the wither rose. And now we can plant these and start growing a supply of each color. And I'll use bone meal to speed up the process until we have plenty of each. Now we just need to make a display over here. So we've got red, orange, yellow, cyan, purple, pink, black and white. And we should actually make some barrels and this is where we will store all the extras for purchase. Now we just need to decide the price. So let's keep it simple. Roses are one diamond each, but I'm gonna put them on sale so they can buy a dozen roses for six diamonds. 
So hopefully that will entice some customers to buy a dozen roses for their lovers. What a thoughtful way to show somebody you love them. Please somebody buy my roses. Next we have to create all of the rugs for sale. These are going to be limited edition, one of a kind rugs. So I have been busy working away like a little gremlin on Photoshop, making some artwork for these rugs. And now all we have to do is display them. So first we have a set of fake animal rugs. We've got a tiger, a polar bear, a cheetah, and a brown bear. So I'm gonna price these exquisite rugs at 36 diamonds each. Next we have this peach rug, which I will price at 15 diamonds. And then we have this picnic blanket for eight diamonds. And by the way, all of these rugs can be scaled up or down depending on how big of an area people want them to take up. So for example, this picnic rug could actually take up the whole room. But since I need to display a lot of rugs, I'm gonna make it small. So next we have this tartan rug for eight diamonds. And over here, we shall display this moon rug, which I will price at 14 diamonds. I also made this rainbow welcome rug, which I will sell for a measly six diamonds. And we've run out of floor space, so up on the wall here, I'm gonna put the star rug that Joey requested. So I'll call it Joey's star rug for 12 diamonds. Okay, so that is all of the rugs I currently have available. The last thing I'm gonna do is put a sign over here, letting people know that all rugs are one of a kind. There will be no duplicates. So if they buy a rug, they will be the only person in the world that owns that rug. And hopefully that will encourage people to buy quickly before their dream rug is gone. So now that all of my goods are on display and we've priced everything up, I just need to advertise my shop to potential customers in time for our grand opening on Friday the 31st of July. And I've noticed that everyone else has been leaving these spam advertisements outside of people's waystones. Here we have one for Joey's Crystal Shop, Catherine's Crystal Shop, and the diamond designs. So we also need an aggressive marketing tactic to promote the Frog Prince Boutique. But I think I'll do something a little bit different just to grab people's attention. So I'm just gonna get some plain birch signs and then I'm going to be really intrusive by leaving them next to people's beds. It says, come visit the Frog Prince Boutique. It doesn't even explain what the Frog Prince Boutique is. They'll just have to come and find out for themselves. Now, let's continue to intrude on everyone's lives. And this will be a fun opportunity for me to find out where everyone sleeps, because that is important information to know about the people you share a server with. <gasps> Joey has such a cute fancy bed. What the heck? Oh my gosh. And Catherine's bed is also really cute. What on earth? Why does everyone have a really cool bed? Look at Scott's. This makes my bed look really basic. Okay, I'm having trouble finding Shovel's bed. She has a really big house. Oh, that's adorable too! What on earth? When did people start getting such cool beds? Oh, let's also leave a sign for CPK, who also has an interesting bed. Wait, is that a banner? Can you put banners on beds? I need to experiment. I am done promoting the boutique. It's time to decorate my bed. So let's go and make a banner. So of course I'm gonna be making my iconic bunny banner. And now I guess we try and put this on a bed. <gasps> it works. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's deformed. Why is it deformed? Why did this happen? The banner was perfectly fine. Let's just pretend that didn't happen and I will put this banner up here instead. And that reminds me to add some fan art to my wall down here. So here is a really cute one by Yuki Ini. And the final thing I want to do today is build myself a notice board somewhere over here by my warp stone so that people don't just leave random advertisements all over. Instead, they will have a nice notice board to display it on. So let's build it over here by these wisteria trees. So here we shall have a huge notice board. And now maybe we should also put some leaves down here that match the colors. I'm gonna try and make this place all pastel rainbow. And I'm also gonna use my crystals like this. Oh, cute. I think we definitely need some more crystals here, which means I'm gonna have to go and buy some of Joey's expensive crystals. <gasps> what was that? Is there a death trap in here that I just narrowly avoided? I just came here to get some crystals. Blimey neck. Okay, let's get out of here without using the door. 
Now let's get some crystals growing from the ground here and reaching down from the trees as well. Okay, how adorable is this pastel crystal forest? Now people can leave their little advertisements here instead. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of X Life. If you did, please make sure to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you next time.